Ladies and gentlemen, I have to say it, it's been too long, far too long since we've dove into some Call of Duty story that didn't just revolve around Black Ops Cold War or Warzone, and Treyarch gave us a treat this week with the addition of Jason Hudson. You see, we've been over Jason Hudson's story before. We've dove into it, looked at the full story. However, with the most recent update, they added in Jason Hudson, and with it, they updated his bio. And inside of his bio, there is one specific line that changes everything. It completely changes how an entire scene within Black Ops 2 is actually taken. And because of this, it also changes some background in Black Ops 1 as well. So in this video, we are going to go over what this is and how this secret changes everything in the Black Ops universe. And the way that I wanna do this is first of all, go through Jason Hudson's story, but I wanna first give you the scene that this really changes the most. friend Alex Mason is dead by your own hand do you understand why he was gonna kill David because you must suffer as I have suffered now one more must die you Woods or David make a decision now or in 10 seconds you're all dead Woods I can't I have two kids they Fuck! Okay, me! Do it! Do it! Your life will be consumed by absolute loss. Then and only then will you understand what you have done to me. Now, what's interesting is that during Black Ops 2, we thought the reason why Menendez was kind of losing it like this was because of the death of his sister, Josefina. Now, there's a whole backstory behind this, but essentially what you need to know is that the death of Josefina was brought on by Frank Woods, throwing a grenade, goes into the same room and takes her out. So during this scene, it doesn't really make sense that Hudson sacrifices himself to save Frank Woods, especially considering the fact that Hudson has two kids, Frank Woods, at least to our knowledge, has zero so it's weird that Hudson offered himself up for sacrifice but as it turns out when we dive into his backstory there's a very good reason for this so as far as Hudson's backstory goes in 1951 he enlists in the US Army in the 101st Airborne Division in 1955 he is dishonorably discharged and enrolls in Georgetown University in 1959 he graduates with honors degrees in psychology and political science. So after this, he is recruited by the CIA on recommendation of Marshall Bryant and promoted several times in subsequent years on merit of tactical skills and genius IQ levels. After this, this is where our story starts to get pieced together. In 1968, he joins the Studies and Observation Group, in other words, the SOG unit, in Quezon, Vietnam, alongside Alex Mason and Frank Wood. So I'm not going to go over the entire Black Ops 1 story because there's a lot there, but the parts that you basically need to know for this is, first of all, Jason Hudson is introduced as Alex Mason's handler, the person to help him as a CIA asset alongside Frank Woods, and they go on several different missions together. Also in Black Ops 1, Alex Mason is being interrogated, and as we find out the person interrogating him to get the number sequence out of his head and to figure out what it means is none other than Jason Hudson. And essentially by the end of Black Ops 1, where Hudson leaves off is he leads the assault on the Soviet ship, the Rysalka, and the primary target is KIA. And of course, what this is talking about is the assault on the Rysalka. This is the thing that the number sequence brings back to Mason. Once Mason gets there, he takes out Nikita Dragovich, and that is what that line is referring to. Too. So then after this, we have 1981. This is the events of Black Ops Cold War, and through this, he oversees Operation Greenlight. So Operation Greenlight is what Frank Woods found out about during Black Ops Cold War. Essentially, what this was was a mission where the CIA put nuclear devices under every major European city and would be used as an ultimate endgame in case of a Soviet invasion of Europe. 
This is also what Frank Woods and Alex Mason confront Hudson about at kind of the beginning of the Black Ops Cold War campaign. The other thing that Hudson does within Black Ops Cold War is that he authorizes the infiltration of the KGB headquarters in Moscow. Essentially, all you need to know about this is in the KGB mission where Bell and Adler infiltrate the KGB headquarters, Hudson was the one that actually gave the green light. See what I did there? So then in the final line of Hudson's bio, it says in the year 1982, Hudson leads the assault on the Menendez cartel in Nicaragua. The primary target was KIA. This we actually know way more about than you may think. We talked about this way back at the beginning of Black Ops Cold War, but when the map cartel was released, this was in the beta, we actually had a look at the map and we saw that there was number one, a calendar that led us to May 1982, which is the year that we saw in Jason Hudson's bio. But more specifically, there was a house on the map where when you go inside, you could very clearly see that this house belonged to one, the Menendez cartel, as you could see their kind of insignia on the TV. But on top of that, you could see Raul Menendez's picture hanging on the wall. But specifically laying on the bed, we found his father, Jose Luis Menendez, who appearingly had been assassinated inside of his home. Now, at the time, we didn't know why this happened. We didn't know if even his son, Raul Menendez, turned on him. But as it appears now, we now know that in 1982, based off of the bio of Jason Hudson, he was the one that led the raid on the Menendez cartel, and the primary target was KIA, the primary target being Jose Luis Menendez. Jason Hudson killed Raul Menendez's father. Now this brings us back to the original cutscene that we looked at. When we see that basically Jason Hudson sacrifices himself for Woods, it didn't really make any sense as he had kids. But now that we know that he was the one to take out Jose Luis Menendez, we can now extrapolate the idea that he may have actually felt guilty for doing so because that could have been one of the reasons why Raul Menendez's plan and everything that he does within Black Ops 2 comes into place, because he took over for his father, and the reason why he did is because Jason Hudson killed them. So not only does this fill us in on why Jason Hudson did what he did, but also some of the reasons why Menendez is the way that he is as well. And in fact, it actually changes a lot of his motivations throughout the game of Black Ops 2. In fact, it just adds to the story, which I think is pretty amazing. But all in all, it was cool to hear this and cool to see that Jason Hudson played a part in that and how it plays forward going into Black Ops 2. This was his secret that's how it changes the story. I'm curious what you guys think of it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoy these type of story videos, be sure to hit that like button. It shows me to make more of them. And as always, if you like what you see, want to stay up to date on my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are